Danzig, Sistinus, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the different sections right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for it. Do me a big ol' favor, hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and want to see more Danzig stuff. And now, let's jump on in. Alright, so to begin, we're in a E standard tuning, E A D G B E, and a couple of uh, layers of guitar going on with this one. Uh, the initial one kind of plays the main riff, I guess you would say, and it's just this slow uh, arpeggiation, um, palm muted and uh, kind of plucky, you know, so uh, no uh, distortion really on this, just kind of a nice reverb, maybe a little delay on there, something sounds good. And uh, like I said, just a light palm muting. And we're just picking through part of this uh, B major chord here. And uh, this voicing sounds nice where we're at the 9 on the D. Then we go 8G, 7B. And we just pick right down through it like that. All right, mute it with the edge of our palm there, right at the bridge. Get that plucky vibe. And we just go down through it like that twice. And then we just do the first two notes again, the 9-8 and just keep looping it from there. All right, and then we get the second guitar that just comes over with some, you know, nice big smooth strums of a chord and lets it ring. And it's got a cool uh, tremolo effect on it. And uh, I'm using kind of, on a scale of uh, about one to 100, my effect, I'm at about a 70 with the rate. So you just kind of want to match the tempo um, that you're going with there. Uh, and we start just by strumming through a B chord here. Start the 7E, 9 on the A and D. And I go to about the G right there, the uh, 8. Don't really do the whole thing, just about that much of it sounds good. Okay, cool sounding, like 50s vibe chord there. Right, and we just bounced between that and an E flat minor, which is just scoot over a fret down there. And then we just drop a set of strings. We go 6A, 8 on the D and G with the 7 on the B, and just strum that. And just toggle between those two chords for the bulk of the intro and the verse. And now the uh, bridge section, I guess you would call it, maybe, maybe the pre-chorus, but the first time we do it, we don't launch into the chorus right afterwards. Um, uh, the two layers going on here, the arpeggiated layer, of course, and it's just keeping on, keeping on with the same, you know, nine, eight, seven. 
All right, it does that twice, but then it adds a little new wrinkle here where uh, it'll switch to this shape where we just drop that 9D down to an 8, and then we go 6 on the G and a 7B, and we pick down through that just the same way we did the other one. All right, and we do that twice, but then we come right back to our 987 and do that four times. And the second guitar for that bridge section uh, switches down to just a big open E chord. Does that twice. Then comes up to the F sharp. Okay, bar in the twos. Four on the A and D, three on the G. Does that twice. Back down to the E for a couple. And then we land on our E flat minor, the six, eights, and seven. All right, once the chorus gets going, uh, we get uh, finally like a distorted, heavier guitar come in. It's a bit low in the mix, but it's there. And it kicks off, and it's just mostly doing like power chords here. Um, but I think there is also that uh, kind of uh, lost in the mix a little bit there. There's still that, um, you know, kind of clean, strummed with the tremolo on there. So, you know, I'll put the, uh, the power chord name on here but i'll also put in parentheses kind of what the the overall chord is going on so uh, like i said it'll start with this b all right b power chord we just do that here at the seven e nine on the a and d and it kind of kicks it off by doing a little pinch harmonic all right so you just give that a little little something there and then uh it'll do this little bit of like hitting the bottom of the chord twice like hitting those nines. All right, then it moves to the, the E flat power chord at the six A eights on the D and G. Same thing there, but uh, just more just hitting a chord, no really uh, pinch harmonic there. Just kind of hit the power chord. And then like the eights a couple more times. All right, moves down to a, a new spot here. We go A flat at the four E. Six on the A and D, same type of strum there. Drops down a set for that C sharp. Does the first two chords again, the B to the E flat, and you can do the pinch harmonic again. Now it goes to the E power chord. You can throw in the open low E if you want. I think it sounds good. So a 7A9 on the D and G. And then we just hit that E flat at the 6 and 8s again and just let it ring. And at the very end, as the outro is getting going, uh, we get that uh, kind of voice synth that comes over, does the cool little melody there. And basically that's just a handful of notes where we'll be at the, say, like 8 on the G, them 7B, 9B, back to the 7, and then back to the 8G.